In today's video, we'll be doing a review of Scrapey. Now, Scrapey is an all-in-one AI-based SEO tool. It allows you to do things such as track your keywords, monitor your page speed, monitor your overall SEO and your uptime, and it also has a built-in syntax checker which makes sure that there's no issues with the codes on your website. There's currently a lifetime deal for Scrapey on AppSumo, so if you wanted to get started, you can go ahead and get the lifetime deal for a one-time purchase of $49. And for that one-time purchase of $49, you get 10 websites included with over 8,000 analysis credits. You also get the technical SEO audit, the page speed analysis and monitoring, the uptime monitoring, and you get 4,000 keyword credits for the Google Rank Checker, and you get up to 10 team members, auto-generated task, Google Lighthouse, heading link, image analysis, canonical analysis, meta tag, and SSL checker, and you get a lot more other features included in this lifetime deal. When you compare this to the regular monthly plan of Scrapey, this is a very affordable deal. You get a lot of features included for that one-time purchase of $49. So if you wanted to go ahead and get the lifetime deal before it expires, I'll leave a link below this video. And also, if you want first access to my full six-figure YouTube course training, I'll go ahead and leave a link below. I'll be going over everything that I did to start and monetize a YouTube channel in less than one year. So if you want to check that out, there'll be a link in the description below. Once you get a plan for Scrapey, like most SEO tools, you have to go ahead and add your website onto the tool. And what's going to happen is once you go ahead and add your website, it's going to run an audit and pull some of the most important information from your domain. Once the analysis is completed, you'll be able to see an overall view of your website. So you can see your site health. So this is a number to, between zero and 100. The higher the number, the more healthy your website is. You'll be able to see the amount of pages that were crawled. You'll also be able to see a breakdown of the links in which you have for that website, the amount of nofollow, do follow, um, links that you have, the amount of internal and external and anchor links as well. You'll also be able to see your images. So you can see the types of images in which you have and you'll also be able to see the amount of images on that website. And on the right here, we also have some other information such as broken links, big images, redirect, missing alt tags, missing title tags, and slow images. And if you wanted to go ahead and get a detailed breakdown of any of these um, sections here, just go ahead and click on that specific section. So for instance, if I wanted to see what slow images they're talking about, just go ahead and click that and you'd be able to see directly what the images are on your website. And you can do the same for any section here. So for instance, if you wanted to see what are the missing alt tags, just go ahead and click that again and you'd be able to see what images you're talking about. And if you scroll down, you'll see another breakdown of the issues and the improvements that need to be made on that website to include the overall site health. So if we scroll down, we can see that the first issue is the HTTPS page has internal links to HTTP. So if you wanted to go ahead and take a detailed look, just go ahead and click on the arrow on the right hand side here. So we'll be able to see the specific page that has this issue. And we also see on the right hand side here how to fix that issue. So it actually goes about and tells you what you need to do in order to resolve this issue on your website. And I like that it doesn't just show you that specific issue, it shows you all of the issues that that page had. It's nice that you have all of the issues in one place, you can go ahead and click on that specific issue to resolve it. And if you wanted to further break down that specific page, you can check out the report here. So go ahead and click show report, and this will give you a breakdown of that specific page. So we can see the HTTP status, we can see the headers, you can see the canonical, you can see the content breakdown, so the language, the title, the length, the description, the content ratio. You can see the meta tags. You can see the headings, the H1, the H2, the H3 tags. And you can also see the keyword of that specific page. So you get a very detailed breakdown here. You can see the keyword, you can see the frequency. You can see if they've been used in the title, in the description, in the headings, in the image alt tags, and in links. So this gives you a nice breakdown of each individual page so you can go ahead and further optimize that page to improve the on-site SEO, which will improve your rankings and get more traffic to that page. And if you scroll down, you'll also be able to see the specific links on that page. You'll be able to see if it's an internal or an external link. And lastly, you'll be able to see a breakdown of images. So you're getting a lot of very useful information here from Scrapey. Um, you're also getting some very actionable steps that you can take in order to improve your on-page SEO. 
And again, you can go ahead and do the same thing for every single issue here that you find from the analysis. If you want to go ahead and take a detailed look into the issue, just go ahead and click on that arrow. So it makes it easy for you to go through and find those changes that need to be made and make those changes. Or if you have a VA, you can go ahead and hire a VA to go through um, the analysis, to go through the recommendations that were needed and to fix all of the issues on your website. So that's the overview that you get from Scrapey once you add your website onto this tool. If you wanted to further go into different sections, we can go ahead and toggle between those sections here on the left hand side. So if you wanted to go ahead and focus on the issues or improvements that are needed on the website, just go ahead and click onto the issues tab here. And you can toggle between issues, between warnings, and between notices. So issues are going to be the most important things that you need to go ahead and fix on your website. Warnings will be the second most important, and notices would be the least important things that you need to improve on your site. Next, if you head over to content, you'll actually have a breakdown of different content in which you can take a look at. So you can take a look at keywords, missing titles, missing descriptions, missing H1, low word count, low content ratio, duplicate title, duplicated description, or duplicated H1. So essentially, this will be a breakdown of all of the content on your website. And you can go ahead and toggle between any one of these sections here. And on the right hand side, it'll actually tell you how many pages are affected by this issue. So for instance, of short titles, we have 10 pages that need to be fixed. For missing description, we have six pages and so on. Once you're finished looking at your content, you can go ahead and take a look at the SERP features included in Scrapey. So essentially, you have a rank tracker included, a top 10, top 50, top 100. You have rising keywords falling keywords and favorites. So if you want to go ahead and click on any one of those, just go ahead and click on that specific section here. And in order to track your keywords or your rankings, you need to go ahead and add your keywords. So go ahead and click add, go ahead and enter the keywords in which you're trying to track for. And you want to go ahead and also um, choose the location. So if you're in the United States, you'd go ahead and choose the United States. And you can also go ahead and choose between desktop and mobile. And once you're happy with your keywords, go ahead and click save. And once you go ahead and add those keywords, you'll be able to track those keywords You'll be able to see what positions they currently are on Google. You'll also be able to see if they've risen or fallen, and you'll be able to have a nice historical overview of how that keyword is doing. Next to the SERP features, we have the page speed. So the page speed will give you Google Lighthouse metrics on your specific website. In order to start getting some information, just go ahead and enter your URL for your website and click analyze. And once the analysis is finished, go ahead and click on the report on the right hand side here. And once the analysis is finished, you'll be able to have an overall lighthouse report from Google. So we can see here that the performance of this website is 50. So we definitely need to go ahead and improve that. The accessibility is 95, which is pretty good. Best practices is 100 and SEO is also 100. So we have some things here that are good, but we also have some improvements that need to be made. And if you wanted to go ahead and see what um, issues or what improvements need to be made. Just go ahead and scroll down. We can see um, a overview of why this performance metric is so low. And we can also go ahead and um, see the things that we need to do in order to improve this performance number. The next feature included in Scrapey is a link feature. So this is where you'll see an overview of the black links that you have for your website. At the top here, you'll be able to see your internal links, your external links, your do follow links, your no follow links, and you'll also be able to see some other links that's included here. So if you wanted to just filter this by just internal links, just go ahead and click um, internal links. If you wanted to filter just by no follow or do follow, then just go ahead and click on that specific um, icon here. And then you'd be able to see just a breakdown of those specific links. And next to links, we have a specific image tab in which you can go ahead and take a look at all of the images on your website, or you can go ahead and take a look at the ones that are missing alt tags, missing titles, or that are too big, broken images, redirections, or slow images. So just go ahead and click on that specific tab to see which image um, is causing those issue and you can go ahead and make those changes. And lastly, you have access to an uptime report. So this will tell you the average response time for your server and it'll also tell you the average uptime for your website. So most of the times your website will be um, up 100%, but you just always wanna make sure that you're monitoring this, especially if you have a larger website and if you're monetizing your website as well, because if your website's down, then you won't be able to make any money. So this is just a nice tool that sort of makes sure that everything is working well on your website. Overall, I think Scrapey is a great tool. I think that they give you a lot of recommendations which you can use to improve your website's overall SEO. It doesn't just tell you what the issues are on your website, but it actually shows you how you can go about to make those changes to improve your website's SEO. If you don't have an all-in-one SEO tool, then I highly recommend that you go out and grab this tool. 
especially if the lifetime deal is still available because for $49 one-time payment, you really can't go wrong. You get a lot of powerful features included for this lifetime deal. If the lifetime deal is still available, I'll leave a link below this video. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something new. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.